Morning. Oh, you're recording already? I have to get a video out. <laughs> demonetize, demonetize. Oh, what's going on, guys? Jesus. What's up? Come on, man. Elevator's full. And everybody oh. wanted to go yeah. early. I didn't know there was a laser convention here. Dude, that hot chick. Well, welcome back, guys, to the original Drummer Drum Tech POV. Sorry for the wait. I was moving the month before I left for this tour, and this is our third bus. So we've had many breakdowns. We've had a show cancellation. So I've just been real unlucky with the start of this tour and, and making content for you guys. But I think, you know, third time's a charm. I think we should be good from here on out. But we're in Oklahoma City today, it's Saturday. Should be a good show. Third bus in a week. Third bus in a week, guys, it's crazy. Chris is back, guys. Huh. Me? Oh, Chris hey. is back, guys. <laughs> what? I forgot you were, uh... hell yeah. It'll be a good day then. Hopefully. This is right, right up by Valley. Uh, yeah. I want to go to all of them. What team is this? Oklahoma City Thunder. They're pretty good right now. Okay. They have like an awesome young core. They're pretty, pretty on fire. This is NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get a jersey. Okay, can you call me a jersey today, please? Or like 50% off? I want to get a Shago and Alexander jersey. He's nasty. Must be going well, right here. I think we need to go that way. Bus later. Oh yeah, probably. Oh, I recognize that logo. We used to be the Sonics. Oh. Owner sold the team and they moved down here. Looks like I have plenty of time, guys. Let's see what we got. I'm not eating breakfast today, but we got eggs. We got the hash browns. Crisp bacon. Ooh, that actually looks dangerous biscuits and gravy what quite the spread breakfast burritos good morning I'm doing all right yeah i'm just seeing what's what's going on yeah we yep. got a lot going on yeah <laughs> definitely you got quite a bit and then the pastries
everything looks good. I gotta go back to the hotel. Why? Because sticks got shipped there. And when I asked this morning if it was there, they're like, no, we don't have anything. And they just called me. And it was delivered Thursday. I'm tracking. So I, <laughs> I get to go back. Check this out. We're good. Everything's fine. You, you're looking for sticks? Oh, I have to get the shipment either way. Yeah. We're going to start using these. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> We needed him for uh, rib, well. bro. Okay. <laughs> you should put those on the drums last show. <laughs> See what, I'll leave them. Yeah, I'll leave them at his practice kit. Yep. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, on this tour, drums are set up as always, but everything lives. Everything else that doesn't fit here lives on this. So I basically don't have to go in here for anything. I keep the snare, snare, side snare, and rat tom in here, and that's that's literally it. Everything else is right here, so it makes my job super, super easy. And then we got the dreaded practice kit, of course. Like I said, it's been a kind of a weird start to a tour. We've had we've had three buses, so I've had to move my stuff back and forth like over and over and over and over. One of the days it was like a surprise that the bus was leaving. I had to go to the shop and my all my camera gear was on it. So the show I was originally gonna start on, I never do the first show because I like to figure out like just how the day is going to go and I don't want to be uh you know the guy with the camera on first the first day I like to like kind of feel out how the days are going to go before I start bringing the camera out you know what I mean but yeah two I think it was two shows ago all oh, my camera gear the bus the bus broke down at 3 a.m this is what happened the bus I got woken up at like 3 a.m saying the bus broke down and we had to move to another bus. We basically didn't sleep for 48 hours, but in my waking up in the middle of the night, I didn't think to grab my camera gear. I just like grabbed my stuff and left and then realized I didn't have it when I got to the venue. So, and then the last show got canceled. So this is the first show back. I'll wipe these down after I line check all these symbols. And then, as far as tuning the drums go, everything is very cold, so, and we don't go on stage for another two or three hours, so I'm gonna leave the shells out and let them kind of thaw before I really tune them. It's just, it's freezing cold everywhere we go right now. Yeah, everything's like freezing cold, so there's no point in tuning these or trying to tune these right now. Let them warm up a little bit. This will be the 
third show. So we're not going to change any heads today. Next show we'll change heads for sure. This is our spare snare drum. Steel DW. Until I haven't used it because it's got moon gels on it. We might change the snare head today. We decided to change heads less frequently on this tour, so I mean this looks fine for sure, but just part of me wants to because I normally would, but I think we'll be fine for one more day of these. Just go four day four shows with everything is what we're gonna try and do. Just strap the floor tom down. I put the towel on here so that nothing rubs on the finish or any of the hardware in transit safe and sound Yeah, so behind let's drums. Playback. Let's put a playback in here. Okay, so I'll grab my step as well. We're not filming this. Next time you see this, it'll be set up. Hold up, hold up. I got it, I got it. Above your head. I can't reach, I'm not pulling it. Alright, send it. Hey, Go, hold on. Back up, back up, back up. My shit. Hold on. Alright, go. Oh, bad, you good? Oh, hey, hold on. on. There you Damn go. Hold up. Going slow. Slow. Yeah. Ready? <sighs> Got it. Man, we're clear. Uh -uh. Guys, that will be the last piece 
So right now we're just staging these. Well, not staging them. We're just getting them ready to stage because Disturbed needs the sound check still. There's David doing his thing over there. So we just get this stuff ready. So it's once they're done sound checking, we just go straight on. Everything's in order to make everything seamless and easy. That can just stay over here for now. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to be a step for this, for this riser. Thank you. right here just this oh you know we gotta come back with a salad bar
Fuck him out, Sashman. Ah. Uh. Yeah, because I remember Parkway, you were t you were telling me about it, too. Yeah, so it was a delay. So right when I got them, it was the same day we did the Modern Drummer shoot. So I actually added all these extra clamps down here because these new, I think these are the CP70s from Pearl. Okay. So they come with actual adapters uh, for mics, which is really cool. Oh, so they're not even mounted to the drum anymore. Not at all. These are completely yeah. independent. Unfortunately, they shake a lot. We've had some issues with these not connecting right. And you see our audio guy come up, maybe... Okay. to fix them but yeah so basically these three i had to manipulate but try to make it so it wasn't too obnoxious because he didn't want to take away from the rap yeah and you can still kind of see him but that's the best i could do you could barely, yeah, you could barely and then see. these two are the same so this right here is for floor tom four and this is for or floor or floor one floor two okay. tom four tom five but yeah these are all just the ones that we got from pearl so we sent all this stuff to our serico guy in texas and then he sent it to us when he was done with it but it took forever to get pearl to send it to him and then when they sent it to us, I don't know if you know anything about these new um, lugs. No, I know but about those, them. But... Those grommets in there, because you can unscrew one side, and then on the inside, the silver ones are for the kick drums, because it's a different size tension rod. Okay. And then the ones for the toms are all brass. Okay. Unfortunately, this looks identical to what the kick drum has. <laughs> okay. So when they reassembled yeah. it, because they reassembled it before they sent it to me. All right. When they reassembled it, they reassembled it wrong. <sighs> So luck luckily, like we do pre-production and backline guys go to the warehouse. So I actually had to strip the entire kit and go through each one of these to find the and take them off. Ones. But luckily I didn't have to take off the whole lug. So these actually come off as long as there's no tension rod in there. I can unscrew one side and this comes out completely. Okay. Um, so that was easy. But yeah, you can't see it from the outside, but the inside of this, even though it looks like it's all brass, some of those could be silver on the inside. Mm. So the only way to find out is by taking the whole thing apart. So it was Damn. a little bit of a pain, but we still made it work. Yeah. But dude. Talk about tedious. I bet. Going man. through all the lugs because is... he has a ton of toms. Yeah, this is not a small kit. No. Yeah, but... for everybody in the comments that tells me my kit's not a real kit, here's a real kit for you guys. By the way, this is David Nestor, everybody. He drum techs for Disturbed and many others. You guys met him at Louder and Life. You yeah, were working Parkway. for Parkway, yeah. Parkway. The big spinny kit. Yeah, go ahead and sit behind it, dude. Yeah. I don't know if the camera will pick up the uh, the entire the thing. Tilt. <sighs> All right. Yeah, he sits so far back. That's wild. Yeah, I don't know how I would do that. And nylon tips. Yeah, so those are the ones I use for sound check, but his are actually right to your left or in the stick bag over there. His have a coating on it. You can check them out. Where are they at? His sticks on the hi-hat stand. Oh, they're black. I can't see them. Yeah, they're like uh, black. It's almost like that uh, grippy stuff. Yeah. So it's like a paint or epoxy, but it, it helps with grip. Dude, I remember like when I first started drum teching, I got a gig with, um, oh my God, what is the name of this band? I can't even remember the name of the band. They're kind of like Mayday Parade, but they're different. But anyways, I'd never worked for them, never met them before, and I showed up and the drummer was like, do you have my sticks? And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> No. I, know, I was supposed to. Yeah, so was it, it was just a one-off gig. It's not just We the Kings. One. Yes. Oh, it is. Yes, We okay. the Kings. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was like, no. <laughs> I just flew from home, so I hunted down sticks for him. But all they had were those Zildjian rubber dips, uh, and his lot. hands were destroyed. I believe it. At the end of the show. So when I clean the cymbals, and then he uses the black sticks. The black you can see on some of the China stuff, there are some black marks still. Oh yeah. So that black coating comes off on the cymbals like. Did you ever use Travis Barker's sticks at any point? So his are like dipped in some sort of like white, like translucent white, and they would mark the shit out of my symbols. Yeah, okay, you can see it on this one. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. I haven't wiped that one down yet, but yeah, I used to sound check with his and I would just make them worse. What do you what do you use to clean something like this off? Uh, usually Music Nomad symbol cleaner. <laughs> yeah. That's like my go-to. Same. Uh, Smells good. For and for the symbol cleaner. I think they're the best. Same. That's what I use. Um, I've used Groove Juice before. Shout out to Dave. It just stinks, bro. But. I don't like the smell. To be honest, the spray on wash off I'm not a fan of because you don't always have access Out to Out here? Water. Yeah. And it's and it's more simple. I actually like to put the symbols up and clean them while they're up there. Same. The reason I do is because you can spin them yeah. when they're on the stand a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really, you get so much shit dirty when you put it on top of a case or on a table. Yeah, exactly. I've done that in the past, and I know Nick used to use like a buffing wheel. 
I like to do it by hand. I don't yeah, know. same. I like, yeah, everybody always bothers me because I use a drum key still. Like you, I'm assuming you would use a drill for this kit if you're changing heads, right? No. You don't? Oh, wow. Okay. Nope, Respect. I, use, I like the, the Evans magnetic ones that have the nubbin at the top. Yeah. Because I can spin it. And I do have an automatic drill, but it's um, that a little straight one. one, and it's slow. And but it I don't fits. like doing it. It can fit in a shell, too. No, mine can't. Mine's a longer Oh, one. what were you using on that video you posted the other day? Oh, where that you were... one. Oh, really? It only fits inside the snare. Anything oh. 14 or bigger, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that was only because I was removing the lugs. Okay. But I use that usually from the top to take the all the tension rods off. Yeah. But. Same. I just like to go, use it by hand. Yeah. Like, no, just... I usually use two of these and try to go around each drum mm -hmm. quickly. And then when I go back on, I like to tune by feel and ear because I don't use a drum dial or any of that either. Do you tune to a note on these at all? Neither do I. Not here. Dude. It's all linear. Yeah. So if you I, know, you know. Yeah, it's, and I also rely on front of house and monitors to tell me, hey, that third tom is yeah. a little wonky. Like, your snare's got a little extra high end to it. So yeah. What you can do. They're my biggest critics. Yeah. Monitors in front of house. In the best way, though. Yeah, exactly. If they say it sounds good, then I know it sounds good out there. And Mike, right. the drummer, he trusts them. Yeah. Because he's known them longer, so when I came in, he's like, whatever they need you to do, tune it for them. Don't listen to anything I say. Like, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Because he knows yeah. the process that it works like a team. Yeah, I tune, I tune for Luke, and then Nate has to figure it out. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, thanks for, thanks, time. thanks, dude. Thanks for showing me around. Yeah. They, you guys know about my opinion on Remo now. Yeah, not not a fan of Remo personally. Right in front of you. But I've worked with Remo with other bands like uh, Danny from Good Van Fleet. Mm. He's a huge fan of it. Yeah. But for their vintage sound, those thin one ply coated heads sound great. Yeah, exactly. Because we had a '71 Ludwig that we rebuilt for him, and it sounded fucking cool. It was like uh, one up, two down, and they were concert toms. They didn't have bottom heads. You have a YouTube video. Yeah. On that, I've watched yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. What's your so, YouTube channel, real quick? Just David Nestor Drums. Okay. Cool. So I rebuilt that one for him. We had to order all new lugs, or the internals of the lugs. We used the old lugs, but we had new parts for the inside. Oh, so yeah. all the grommets and all that stuff, all new tension rods, all new hoops. But yeah, he loves those heads. We went through probably five different kinds of heads, testing them out, and we found the simplest way of a 70s rock and roll sound is thin coated heads. Yep, yep, yep. I will say, I mean, Thank you, sir. Evans is consistent. Yeah, I'm always going to be a fan of Evans. No offense to the Remo people out there, but yeah, it's preference. I mean, I've switched sides completely, but I mean, they all sound good, but you can make them sound good. But when it comes to consistency, there's it's pretty you unmatched. No, you can't. You can't. And I'm, I know uh, he's using the hydraulic coated for his snare, but I'm a huge fan of the HD drive. For, the one with little holes. Yep, and the ST it. has holes too. It's okay. a little more durable, but the HD has a little more body. Okay. Yeah, really, really good heads. For copper snares, brass snares, wooden snares. Yeah, all I'll be putting on my kids from now on is, is Evans for yeah. sure. I didn't have to fight the drum at all. Yeah. I just put it on, did my thing, and it was good. What's the GoPro for? I make YouTube videos. Yeah, just uh. Was it like being on tour? Yeah, just drum tech POVs or what they're uh, called. Yeah. The deck's too low. Yeah, like, lift it up a little bit, I think. Can't tell which one's low. There we go. Thank you, sir. Is this center, JT, or what? is, what's center? This line here is center. Okay. Push it up stage. Hold up. Nope, not yet. He's gonna measure it. He's gonna measure split the Okay. I think we're close to center. Should be pretty close. Oh yeah, we're pretty close to center right there. Lock the wheels. Lock the wall.
get this riser dressed. much to these today. He'll want it tighter. They're brand new. Dude, it's so rare that I bring these drums out and don't have to touch them. First video back, guys? Let's go.
They tried to only give me half of it and I was like no there's three boxes and they're like oh we only have two and I'm like it Bullshit. says I was like this literally says one of three two of three and I was like there's one more and they go back and I'm like oh sorry it was no back more. there and I'm like
everybody. So you up there, um, go in front of production again. In front? Yeah, in front of the lights, like we've been doing. Like? Go up the stairs and then go on the left side of the lighting, like you've been doing. Okay. Damn, dude, you guys should start fucking doing the drums again. Together? You don't have to. I mean, it's, it's extra work. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Huh? We have them. Uh, you still have them? Do you have the outfits? No. So we got out. Yeah. You don't have to do it. It would be sick to do it. And since yeah. we're ending the show like that, the next yeah. show, if you want to. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. true. The next show, if we have everything. Oh, we don't have the risers, though. No, it won't be as effective, uh, but. That's not going to look as good. All right. See you out there, dudes. Yeah, have a good one. Hey, later. Matt Horn from World uh, Wide, right? <laughs>
come on, bitch. No bungees tonight? Not yet. Symbol stand on that drape. Well, watch that symbol. If I made custom ones of these, would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comments below.
This is the anal cream guy. Oh, oh guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I him. This is Dan. Anal cream from my rash. Yeah. How's it going, YouTube? <laughs> I love your work in uh, World of Life, brother. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Slowly finding people to call other people. <laughs> I get Tom Segura all the time. Willard's next. You look up Krusty the Clown for Willard from The Simpsons. And, uh, or or this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You like that Definitely one? the same hair color. You like yeah. that that's, one? A, that's a good one. I'm fucking I'm out for blood now. Oh man. Shit. Oh, new never pages. Question mark. Drummer of FTF. Okay. I'll send it to you so you can get my Yeah, it picks up right where I left off. Well, that's a wrap, dudes. <clears throat> Sorry for the wait on another video. But, uh, we back. We got a whole tour ahead of us. And I got a lot more content coming. So, thank you guys for sticking around, watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, man. Please do it. And I will see you guys next time. All right? Peace. And it's locked. <laughs>